Todd's Carpet and Tile Cleaning. Call or text 702-595-0488. Even after 18 months, the ineffective use of public health and social measures, increased social mixing and vaccine inequity, continue to give COVID-19 an opportunity to mutate, spread, and kill. The global failure to share vaccines equitably is fueling a two-track pandemic that's now taking its toll on some of the world's poorest and most vulnerable people. Every region has countries that are now facing a steep increase in cases and deaths. In Africa, cases have increased by 52% just in the past week, and deaths have increased by 32%. And we're expecting to only get worse. Less than 1% of Africa's population has been vaccinated. Our global targets are to vaccinate at least 10% of the population of every country by September, at least 40% by the end of the year, and 70% by the middle of next year. These are the critical milestones we must reach together to end the pandemic. The brutal reality is that in an era of multiple variants, with increased transmissibility, potentially increased impact, we have left vast swathes of the population and the vulnerable population in Africa unprotected by vaccines in a context where health systems are already weak. Uh, and this is the consequence of the current unfair distribution of vaccines. If we had been distributing vaccines fairly and equitably, we may by now have protected those people most vulnerable on the African continent, and we simply have not done that.